No, he's got to take charge of this situation. What's the matter with him anyway? He's just sitting in there, rigid-like. If he catches you at that keyhole, you'll be rigid-like. He said he didn't want to be disturbed. All he does is keep looking at the wall. Well, you'll have to be disturbed if any of these things develop further. I'll bet you any amount of money that we can get on the ball and get where these... Well, everything's under control, Chief. Hmm. Uh, you okay, Chief? Hmm. Yes, why? How's everything going? Oh, something's bound to happen sooner or later. Oh, take a look at this. Those two in the basement, first of all, they started a fire, then set off a lot of fireworks, but they still didn't get out. Those two characters in the airplane that had a little accident knocked the pilot unconscious. Now the control tower at the airport's trying to talk him down. <laughs> the others... Aerial report that the man out on Meyer really had a little accident. You see, he was trying to trying to cross a river and he lost his car. Now he's on foot, walking back to the main road. This fellow Pike, he's about here, coming in on 94 with Mrs. Marcus and her daughter, Mrs. Finch. Mr. Finch and this Algernon, whatever his name is, though, I mean, they're about five or six miles behind in a Avis Chevrolet that they rented at Canyon City. And this Sylvester Marcus, he's the one the old lady called. He's about here, going in the other direction. <laughs> they all ought to be meeting up in about five or ten minutes. You know what I believe uh, I'd like? A chocolate fudge sundae with whipped cream and a cherry on top. Nothing will happen here for five minutes. Mrs. Culpepper on the phone. No. No calls. No more calls. No more calls. Wow. What's with him? Something's wrong. Oh, uh, why? Something's got to be wrong. He feels like a, a chocolate fudge sundae. So what? He has a chocolate fudge sundae. <laughs>